What's up everybody, welcome to another video. Today we um, got a new reptile, instead of amphibian, we, we got a motion tortoise. This is Myrtle, that's what the people named him, so we're going to keep it that. He is a Russian tortoise, it's a male. How you can tell if you look from the bottom, right here it's a male, you can see how it's a little, that, like, the uh, male looks like this, girls are like a lot pointier. He is about a year old to the people we got him from. We got him for him for free, plus a tank, and if you are watching this, thank you. And we might move him into a new enclosure, though. Because we got another one for him, which is like maybe three times bigger. Let me just come and say hi. Now, he also eats the same thing as Draco, except for crickets. We give him lettuce and this calcium powder that the people gave us. Make sure it's D3. It's, I use the same for my Brady Dragon. Um, on his vegetables and crickets. He might be a little tired right now. I let him outside and he roamed around a lot. Um, he's probably in like maybe a 30 gallon right now. 30, 20 gallon. Um... I will get, make sure if you get a tortoise, you don't give them iceberg lettuce. That's a type of lettuce. It's actually not good for them. It's really poisonous. So give them like a uh, mixed lettuce. Russian tortoise is, or the smallest tortoise. He's about the size of my hand right now, as you can see. Which my hand's like six inches, so. Um, the, um, people that we got him from, um, lived on base, so, if you live on base in North Carolina, you're not allowed to have any turtles, and they don't sell tortoises or turtles on base, especially tortoises on base, I forgot to say that, um, so, I live off base in North Carolina, so we got him, and he's doing great. Um, the tank that we got him from looks like this, where she put lettuce everywhere. He did eat, though. And this water bowl, and those leaves, where she did sleep in the leaves. I got him some extras that I had left over and right and uh, Russian tortoises this is maybe half the size they get they get a little bit more bigger they can live up to 50 years old um, they they are the fastest tortoise of them all. Like he's really fast in movie. Where you going? I think he wants to go back. Can I go back in the tank? Okay. So this is his tank. I'll just whoa, whoa. I'll just put him in here. Put him right in there. That's his enclosure right next to the Eastern Grey Tree Frogs and Draco. I got, the people that we got him from also gave us the heat lamp, which I'm very surprised, the thermometers, this nice water bowl, and a food dish, and a food, and a plant, which...
You didn't have to give us this stuff. You could have kept it. Thank you for giving it to us, too. Sorry, those are my parakeets. Um, looks like Draco has a new friend. And the Eastern Green Tree Fox. And also the Toad. Like they said, he does hit his shell on the wall at night, so that'll be fun. It also gave us the heat lamp, which does work. Um, and I like how it comes with two of the bulbs. I love it how it can keep track of the um, heat. And let me show you the tank I'm going to give them today, probably. It's outside. We're cleaning it out. Oh, my dog's out here. What's up? You saw last video, you might saw him. Timmy. And I recommend watching that video, too. Like, he roamed around all this, but I didn't let him out there. Let me get this off. This is the enclosure I'm going to give him. Get him, he's got a little bit of room right here. And this is like a roofing, so you can go on top. Tortoise house, that's what it's called. Now, if you get a tortoise, I recommend keeping it inside for a little while. For maybe a couple of years before you let it outside. Um, Timmy, hold on, my dog's, he's not allowed to be in there. Timmy, Timmy, come on, come on. Um, oh, um, so. If you have a tortoise, I recommend keeping it inside for a couple of years. Also have a heat lamp. If you don't have a heat lamp, get one. Um, so, because reptiles need heat lamp. Like Draco, he's a reptile, so he needs a heat lamp. Um, amphibians don't, but you do have to moisture them. And um, reptiles, you can also let them outside for a little bit. Um, also, you sorry, you can also you have to um, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? You gotta like put hot water in your sink, bathing them or something. I can't remember. Um, soak them. You have to soak them. Put them in hot water, and they'll like um, soak it, soak in it. Um, they do shed. This is my baby dragons. And just bumping into his wall right now. And he's digging. <sighs> That's pretty much the end of this video for him. He's really tired. I'm sorry he isn't that active. Oh, my D10. This is the end of the video. Like and subscribe. Try to get to 25 subscribers. But this time, let's try to get to 10 likes for a part 2 of a house tour. If you saw my last video. Oh boy, I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Peace.